They care about, you know, our spiritual walk. They care about our community. They care about the Great Commission and, and spreading the gospel overseas, that they're just caring. I feel, when I'm here, I feel cared for. I also love Pastor Dave's preaching, that it's, I mean, it's biblical truth, and that's what we need to hear, and that's something that I really love about Geyer also. Absolutely. One of the things Megan and I talk about all the time is that God's called us to obedience. You know, He hasn't called us to see the whole picture all the time, but He's called us to be obedient to His Word. It's just crazy for us to look back over the course of, we've been married almost 20 years, and to look back over the course and just see our journey together. You know, we had parents that really modeled generosity and uh, stewardship, but it still becomes your choice. You know, you eventually leave mom and dad's house. And I guess I would say with regard to generosity, and if you haven't, if you haven't stepped into that and you haven't trusted God with your finances, I would just encourage mm-hmm. people to step out in that and to do that and, and really see uh, what that's about. It, you know, His Word says He's faithful when we're obedient. And Megan and I can certainly attest that over the course of our life, He has just been so, so faithful mm-hmm. in response to our obedience to Him. I think that for me, He's just really taught us to stretch ourselves and that we might think, you know, we can give this much. We'll see, can we give maybe this much more? And really just to have that faith in Him that no matter what, He's going to provide for us. We've had times where we, you know, we didn't know where money was going to come from for, you know, certain things. And He's just really shown His faithfulness to look back from where we were and and where we started when we were newly married and had no money and said, okay, we're gonna write this check, but that may mean some bad things, you know, Mm -hmm. and to see what God's done and and always showed up and Mm -hmm. and just been so faithful our whole life. When I hear next steps, I think about obedience to Christ and the next steps for our church and the kingdom. You know, when I hear next steps, I think of the future of Geyer Springs. And, you know, I'm excited just to see what God's going to do Mm -hmm. with Geyer. Mm -hmm. God's been so faithful over the years in this church and has been so faithful in the ministries that that Geyer has stepped into with Christ. They've joined Him in His work and to see what God's going to do and wonder what that's like is exciting to me. Seeing our kids grow in this church, just going from preschool department to the children's department and just seeing how much they've grown, how they're going to continue to grow, that's something that excites me. You know, we weren't here for a lot of the past, being here only six years, but to be able to be a part of what's coming, of the next steps, the next uh, people that are gonna be reached for Christ, the next family that's gonna be impacted in our community, uh, the next family that's gonna be impacted overseas. And to be a small part of that with what we're doing uh, is really exciting. It's an exciting time.